Hey there, everybody, and welcome. We are going to start our studio segments back up again. This is day three of Airgun Expo. I have with me Joe from Predator Pellets. Now, before we say anything, Joe, we got to thank all the folks. Oh, yeah. You happen to be one of them, actually. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> yeah, Predator's one of them, but, one of hey, them. gateway to air guns. Gateway to air guns, and, of course, air guns to Arizona, all these guys, amongst all of our other sponsors as well. If you guys want to know who all is supporting our efforts here, go to the website, theairgunexpo.com, and you guys can check all that out. Um, one group of folks that I keep forgetting to talk about okay. um, are the guys that gave us these rests. Have you seen oh, them? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Look at them. They're nice. I know, right. So Ransom Rest is a company that's made in the USA. If you, they have, like, precision testing rests. So okay. Angie has a video out there. They have a rest that actually is grips the gun and has an actuator that pulls. She showed me that. All right, one. so... If you're like want to do precision testing, they actually make, uh, we'll call it like robots to hold the gun. I don't know what else to call it. So that you get like takes you completely out of the equation. But that's what these guys do, among other things. But uh, yeah, they sent these rests out. Just really, really good stuff. Solid, solid material. Yeah, good weight. They long. are nice. They're really nice. I like how you can adjust them right here too. Yeah. And then once they're locked in, they are just like locked in so really good stuff but we are going to now talk about sw air guns oh man which happens to be my product so I, again i am biased i am not objective i freaking love these things i'm biased oh man these things are amazing oh <laughs> i want this one yes <laughs> Well, you know, a lot of people think a 20 gauge. Well, first of all, there have been air shotguns before, all the right. way from the, the Gamo Viper Express. Yeah, was, I remember that. That was yeah, funny. No, that was, <laughs> yeah. like, he shoots up and goes, "What was that?" Uh, and then, you know, Airbury has some pretty decent shotguns. Or yeah. little, they don't have enough shot to really. I've take. I use them for snaking to take out rattlesnakes out here. Right, so right. Um, but you know, if you want a real shotgun that actually pushes an ounce of lead. You need to actually have something with some balls. I mean, bottom line, it yeah, needs to yeah. have some. Yeah, these are yeah. balls to the wall. Watch out, duck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> duck, <laughs> duck, geese, yeah, whatever. Duck, geese, whatever. coyote. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken a just a known platform, and you guys probably know the PVBA platform, where we worked with the guys that designed that to bring this to market. And this is just a very similar design, but it has some really key features uh, that make it better. One, we've really just standardized the platform, okay? Yeah. So it's, it's, we've got three models right now, and we're not looking to do rifle inserts or any other stuff, and I'll get to why in a minute. Okay. Okay? Um, we have this guy. Now, first of all, these, these, little, these little guys here actually come um, without the stock, okay? So if you buy, you buy just the gun. So a pistol. Just It's a basically a pistol. A pistol, yeah. So nasty. Man. Yeah, 180-some <laughs> foot-pounds plus some, depending on what you're running through it. It's it, it is just, yeah, it's just nasty. It's what that is. Um, Two-shot magazine, which is one of the key things. Right. Hand that to you there. Gotcha. One of the key things we really wanted to have is uh, a big bore. Again, I mean, we've got a big bore right there that has a, a two-shot shuttle magazine. So we're not reinventing anything. Right. Um, what we are trying to do is make it super simple. Uh, this, all of these guns have just a handful of O-rings, and they're not ones that you have to use tweezers to get in there and run. Thank goodness. They're just <laughs> regular, like, O-rings. You could almost run down to Harbor Freight, get a generic pack of O-rings, yeah. and rebuild the gun. I mean, oh it's, it is very nice, Joe. <laughs> you cannot take it home with you. Um, this one is just straight smooth bore. So uh, what we normally would do, and I forgot to bring it out here, that's okay, is I have... Um, uh, 61 caliber or 20 gauge round ball and oh, you can run yeah. two of the round ball in here and you get uh, two shots out of that thing and like, it's crazy those two shots are <laughs> angie shot this and they were over, she, she shot, shot the carpet yeah, yeah but still they were just touching each other on, on it oh, oh, oh thank you angie, angie you're so she was tired. Trying, she's just trying to help <laughs> angie was just trying to help no air guns were harmed during the film. Uh, I, I felt the I yeah. felt the pain yeah. on and that. Felt, he was certain you'd yeah, take I, him I, home I, and make I, it feel I'm better. I'm gonna take him home, and make it feel better. All right, so these are the round <laughs> balls. They're massive, like 250 grains each, but you can stack two of them on in yeah, the bag and that was, fire a that tandem was, shot. That was so fun, man. Yeah, love these rifles. <laughs> all right, so here I'll give you that back. So the way it works uh, on all of them, you just have a little catch, and then you push it and it clicks into place. So. You have two shots on tap, 
the carbine, I think, is probably my favorite until I shot this yeah, one. Yeah, the carbine is nice. At 100 yards today with open missing. sights. Uh, everybody else was trying to hit the gong and all missed. Uh, but I, after just a few couple very, you know, random shots, not even trying, did manage to hit the gong at 100 yards. I do believe somebody used up about $50 worth of slugs trying to hit it. Uh, but I, you know, hey, and, I was just representing you and trying to hit it, but you were watching what I was doing. I so did, I did <laughs> use all of his misses so I could hit it. Uh, all right, so let's get to the carbine. So the carbine is a 15 inch barrel, got it. Yeah, you got that 15 inch barrel, same yes. two shot magazine. Oh, and then um, the pistol, well, the small, the gun, whatever. Yeah, how long is this? Eight inch barrel, eight inches. Okay, all right, and really. Because the, the the rounds in the magazine, right. it's sort of like part of the barrel, so it's yeah. a little bit extra there. But really, it's an eight inch barrel, fifteen inch barrel. Uh, all of these guns get two shots. Well, these get two shots. Right. This gets like a third and maybe a fourth, depending on what you're shooting. Right. Um, this one we sell again, just without the stock, but we also sell it in what's called the ultimate prepper package. Uh, these guys here. This is going to be going on the website. Probably at the end of the show, we've got 10 of these in stock. And we nice. have a bunch of these in stock. So we'll be able to actually ship. So on the Ultimate Prepper Package, what yes. comes with it? You get a couple magazines. Okay. You get this scope. This is oh, a that's Hawk. Not, yeah, that's a nice one. That's, that's a, nice a really one. nice talk, uh, Hawk scope. Hawk, I think this is the Endurance uh, line. It's a one, two, four. Yes. Um, which is, it's got like almost like a little dot. You can just put it on the turkey's head kind of a deal. Um, you get some, I think, 25 slugs. You get some shot. You get wads to load everything up. You get essentially an entire package to go shoot. That's not bad. But, you know, yeah, this stretched out to 100 yards. But this was, when I was trying this yesterday, <laughs> Yes. if this scope was different, yeah. I would have tagged that point. Yeah, this actually will get out to 100 yards as well. Let's talk about velocity and power. So uh, this is pushing right about 350-ish. This is pushing right around 450. That's crazy. Yeah, so that's a lot of power in that tiny little package. Um, granted, you don't get a ton of shots, but and you don't even have a gauge. And, and yeah. Here, <laughs> here's here's my thinking. All right, we have so many air guns out there that are regulated this and big bottle that and right. 4500 psi fill here and the you know, seven way adjustable match trigger. We're gonna get have one of those later, which I actually love too. But you know, you have all of these things that, okay. But what about just a grip it and rip it air gun? Yeah, that, that I'm this all about is that. It. Oh, yeah. This is the grip it and rip it air gun. And it's it's not quiet. It is not easy to cock. It is, um, it has a ton of recoil. It is actually more like shooting a 20 gauge shotgun than it is shooting an air gun. <laughs> yes, it is. I like that, okay? If you like that, you're gonna love these. Okay, because yeah. all you need is compressed air and something to throw in the magazine. Um, and that's it's simple. It. It's it's and it's you said they're easy to take apart too. It's like probably ten minutes, fifteen minutes. You can tear it all the way down and put it back together. And there's not a lot of O rings in these yeah. either. When Very Rick told simple. me it's like four or five O rings, I was like, that's great. It makes it so much easier to deal with. It is super easy to deal with. Yeah. Now this is a new color we brought out, so I don't know if you guys like it. I know when you first saw it, it was Love like, that it. one's mine, and he was out the door. <laughs> um, we also do have different chokes. So when you buy the Ultimate prep, Prepper Package, um, like this doesn't have any chokes, but this comes with a cylinder choke. I think we have a couple other chokes with it as well. You can buy the rifle choke, and that's where the slug accuracy and also the round ball really becomes. Yeah. Uh, it really takes it up a notch. So now if you guys are familiar with the PBVA line before, it was a 20 gauge, but it had a break open and you could put uh, right, rifle sleeves right. in it. The issue that we had, or they had with those, is that the consistency between the rifle barrels and how they fit and all that stuff meant that it was accurate for hunting. Right. But you're, you and I are air gunners, you know, if it's two inch at 50 yards, you're not gonna be happy with that. <laughs> yeah. You know, but if you're hunting a hog, actually that's perfectly acceptable. Okay? Yeah. I mean, that, if you're going for a vital shot, that's gonna work. But they wanted more. Well, it was really tough to make that consistent. So right. rather than even try and do barrel sleeves and all the other stuff, we found that if you just put a rifle choke at the end and shoot the slugs, you get better accuracy. Yeah, the, these slugs are really accurate. I mean, where I was aiming, that's where they were hitting. Yeah. And when I was going after the 50-yard plate, they the, the slugs, the round balls, round balls are just 
becoming big daisies. They were sunflowers. They weren't even daisies. They're pretty they were, impressive. They were huge. They're, yeah, I, I wish we had one here. Those are nice. That this these put out a lot of energy. If you're looking for a good brush gun, definitely these two. Yeah. These two are easy. They're light. They. Oh God. Yeah. No. I think it, like someone like Angie likes to hunt in a blind. She was talking about this yeah. earlier. Uh, she could just throw this, you know, I'll sling it over her back or something and have something super compact that puts out near the power of her TC-45, right. but it's like you cut a foot and a half off of the dog. Yeah, this is so, amazing. Oh, thanks, Andy. Oh, she got us. Let me check these Oh, out. here we go. So, these are round balls. Yeah. These are round balls before. These are round balls after. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Yes, this is your brain on estimate. These, I mean, these things smack so hard. Yeah. And Angie was just wearing that plate out with these it round balls. It was fun. Balls. It is so much fun to shoot. And if you go back and watch the video, the smile people get on their face when they I pull the trigger. I have no idea what you're talking about. It was, <laughs> uh, it was pretty awesome. Um, we had just had a really good time with them. I shoot a lot of air rifles, as you do, and yep. a lot of us in here do. And it gets to the point, it's like, that's cool, you know. You want to shoot my rifle? Yeah, I want to shoot your rifle. You know, oh, yeah, it was nice, whatever. These are some of the first air guns that I've touched in a long time that I was really excited about just shooting over and over again. It's just, it, it's a whole different feeling altogether. It, it, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not regulated. It's not a ton of sh uh, shot count with them, but it's just one and done. Yeah, well, that's the point. That is absolutely the point. And I really want to take this out and hit prairie dogs at 100 yards with it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Is the carnage? Uh, yeah, it might be a little bit overkill. It won't be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will definitely say they were best harmed during the filming of this episode. Oh yeah, they were. They were. They were more uh, than harmed. They were destroyed. This thing is amazing. Uh, I'm you glad you liked it. I think everybody that's had a chance to pull the trigger on it this week has come away with a smile on their face. Oh, yeah. And this has been a long time coming. I mean, uh, the guy who does PVBA. Uh, he's been doing it for over a decade. Yeah. And, you know, to see something that really has come together like this, that's repeatable, that we have the machining, we have uh, the skill set to put these things together, we have the capacity to create a reasonable amount for, right. for sell-through. So I'm all excited about that. And most of, most everything in the gun, I don't know of anything that is not made in the U.S. I mean, there may be a, exactly. a BB or an O-ring that I don't know. Uh, but it is... It's made, in fact, most of it is made right here in Texas. So there you go. It is a great, great platform. And, you know, not that we're going to do this right away, but it is interchangeable. The receivers are essentially the exact same. The valve is the exact same. Okay. I just got our question up, our hand up for the question just a minute. But you can, or we will at some point in time, allow you that if you bought the pistol, and wanted to make this, you, you could actually do that. That's so cool. I mean, so it's all very that, much. That so yes, cool. Angie. Yeah, professional yeah. big boy air rifles, that's correct. Absolutely. And these things shoulder so nice. I mean, they just come to the shoulder. It's, it, it's there. It's right there. And yeah. You pull the trigger and it's done. Yep. Yeah, yeah, these are nice. That is a blast to shoot, though. <laughs> that thing puts out a lot of energy. I, I'm surprised how fast when you're hearing, because you, you hear the rounds sizzling through the air, and it sounds like an airborne freight train. <laughs> and, the, and the recoil, well, the pushback, isn't bad with that. Yeah. It's not bad. It's it's comfortable. You can deal with it. Yes, ma'am, Angie. The sights. You want to tell you me? Should, where's your mic? I don't have one. Oh. Now I have one. Okay. We're gonna get Angie to use a mic so that you guys can hear more more clearly. Go ahead. I wanted you guys to talk about the sights on that um, the long one. Yes. So this is really more like a traditional shotgun. The the way this is built, the stock profile. Now, if you put a scope on it, it does have an adjustable cheek riser. This is very expensive to do. I think some of the models, once we go through our existing inventory, will probably go to a not adjustable riser because right. it adds quite a bit of, of cost. Right. We can get them if you want it done custom, but this, if you want this one, you better buy one of the first couple we have right? because uh, we'll have them. <laughs> but if you go here to the front, there's a little BB right there, just like your traditional shotgun. And in our rail, there's a, there's a notch cut right through it. So you can actually use that to sight yeah. the gun. And that's what uh, we were, in all seriousness, we wanted to see if we could hit the 100-yard gong. And sure enough, you know, uh, 
We, we were so close, man. So many times it was man, right there. I'm going this way, this way, and, and I adjust, and it's going. Oh, I was so. Bad. And uh, once you get it dialed in, though, I think you can hit it fairly repeatedly. And yeah. This is 100 yards open sights with the 20 gauge air shotgun. It's pretty impressive. And that plate moved. We have it a question. Moved. What? The recoil. Is it more than the 50 cal Texan? The recoil. What? I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, honestly. I've never I, shot a 50 cal Texan. I haven't shot a 50 cal Texan. I've, I've shot, shot a 45. Shot a 45 a lot. I think it's probably less. Yeah, because I like I like that brand of, of air rifle, and because I, I have a few of those, but not Texans. But I but um, when I've shot the Texan, and they do like to jump. You got to put your shoulder behind it. You really have to put your shoulder behind it. On this one, I didn't have to put my shoulder behind it like I did with a Texan. So, um, well, yeah. so this was built by a guy who shoots, who shot a ton of firearms. This was built more to be like firearm comfortable right. than air gun comfortable. Okay. And these are air arm chat or excuse me, AR type chassis design. So you have the inline, uh, you know, the stock is sort of in line, right? With the bore, it's right. a little bit lower, but it's, it, it, it's actually really comfortable. Now, the heavier the projectile, obviously, yeah. the more push. If we're shooting shot out of this, you really wouldn't feel much at all. Right. And even then, we were standing freehanding with these yeah. two, and no one moved. And no one moved. And not only did no one move, they actually hit. They were shooting little tiny things at like 30 yards, and they are smacking them. Yes, Making cannons explode. Which one did I shoot yesterday? You shot the carbine. Sir. Yes. Okay. I didn't feel any recoil in that. And I'm sensitive to recoil. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so she but she was on a bench. We were shooting. St I mean, it is not bad. Well, heck, your sister was a first-time shooter. Yeah. And she was hitting everything right out the gate. Yeah. So they, they, they really <laughs> do work very well. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. They're dialed in. They're really great guns. They are somewhat adjustable, so we can tune them. If you want, hey, I want one to do 550. Well, we could probably do that. Yeah. You only get two shots. But these all come pretty much where it's a balance between shot right. count and power. Yeah. Uh, and and most of the big boards that aren't regulated, I mean, you're not getting a lot of shots anyway. You're getting, no. you know, maybe three, four, five, on, depending on tube and pressure. But, oh, pressure. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. it's how so, much pressure you put in these things. So we're only using 3,200 PSI. So rather than some of the guns that need 4,500 to generate this kind of power, or they take that and they try and go 600 foot-pounds or 800, whatever they're right. doing. Um, we, well, first of all, if, you, if you're hunting in North America, unless you're shooting elk or maybe a huge bear. Right. But if you're, if you're hunting hog or you're hunting deer, right. 400 foot pounds for 450, 500 foot pounds is more than sufficient. Exactly. Okay. This, Way more this, than this will definitely do the job. And I mean, and so at 300, sorry, I interrupted you, no, but at 3,200 PSI mm -hmm. and a relatively small tube, right. again, ultimate prepper thinking. You could hand pump that, yes. and it would not kill you. Yes, especially uh, this one. How many cc's is this? Uh, it's tiny. It's 65, little, It's maybe. about a lot. <laughs> and you get two shots out of that. So yeah. you get two slugs. Two good shots at Two that. good shots, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the mag is just right for these. It's, it's The shuttle mag is just right for these. And, heck, when we were shooting this, we were down to 3,000, and, you know, yeah, it, it, it still looked like it was doing 32. It, it was still doing fine. I mean, yeah. yeah, 200 PSI may not be a big difference, but, yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. Well, guys, I don't know what else more we want to tell. We got some more questions there. Well, she's getting clarification on one of them, but I just have a little bit of input. Okay. okay. You want to come up here with this? Come on up. Angie. Okay. I'll scooch over. What is your input? So I do a lot of deer hunting, and my gun that I use is a 12 gauge shotgun with um, double lot three inch buck. Okay. And I also shoot skeets with small shot, and this is nowhere near the recoil of either of those. I mean, not. when I just target shoot with my 12 gauge shotgun, I feel it, mm -hmm. but I mean, it really nowhere near it. So it's Did you a like sweet shooter. It? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It was awesome. You didn't like it as much as I did though. I just don't get as excited no, as you, you do. If you don't show the excitement, then you get it. You <laughs> earned it. <laughs> <laughs> they are very cool and I'm very pleased to bring them to market. And I think they're going to fill a niche uh, and probably more than one niche because. Oh yeah. They are very flexible. Uh, they are expensive. I'm not going to try to tell you these things are affordable. They're expensive. They're going to be starting at about 1300 and going up from there. So they're not, I mean, you're going to want to buy one. I mean. Heck, but yeah, you buy this one and you build up to this you one. You can. And we will get to that point where we can, where you can mix and match parts. But we got to start somewhere with just some very simple standardized models. And uh, 
I think if we can do that and you guys like them start doing well in the market then yeah and we'll see what we can do from there but really the point is we wanted to bring something that was quality built simple to maintain and really was that I mean I don't say survivalist sort of speak, right but it is look you want to put meat on the table or clear <laughs> pests or whatever you want to do man you can flat do it they're freaking um, deadly. They are freaking they deadly. They kill cans. They, they, <laughs> they definitely do kill, kill cans. Tomato cans don't stand it's so case. easy to cock. I mean, they're the, ooh, so easy to cock. <laughs> now you break it, you bought it. He's been wanting to do that. Ever hey, since I'll, take, I'll take I'll take and ding. I'll take dit and ding. <laughs> There's a discount. But they are easy to cock, though. I, you know, hey, if you think they're easy to cock, my sister could do it. I, I one-handed. I, I don't want to let people say, this is butter. It, no, oh, it's, it's I, not butter. I <laughs> think it's hard to cock, but look. It's frozen I, butter. I, yeah, <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather be like undersell it, you guys be overwhelmed, than uh, oversell it, and you guys be underwhelmed. So we have a question? Uh, it's actually a question from me, and I may not have paid attention. Okay. But can you talk a little bit about what's in the front there? What, this, the little, this thing the here? Table? These oh. things? Those little things in the Oh, around, oh, oh the slugs. These, these are the slugs. These guys right here. Yeah. All right. that and how they all work. All right, so the way the way it works is I've got, I thought I had a little pouch of... Oh, God, I thought it was dry. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, we're dangerous today. I don't want to uh, let them go. Yeah, no, just, hey, just sit there, Angie, that's your job. Um, we have uh, nitro wads, you use, use 20 gauge wads to uh, create your gas seal in the back if you're using shot. You do not need them for these slugs because that's what that little skirt does for right. you, create your, your shot, your gas seal check or whatever it is. Your seal. Seal. Thank you very much. I'll put that right there. Bounce that out. There you go. Um, and then whatever shot you want. This is some steel shot. This is some number four nickel plated shot. I would love to just get lead shot, but it's impossible to find now. It's I don't know anything about a possible lead to find. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is a number two. It's called number two F buck. I've run buck shot, number four, number eight, uh, steel, nickel plated, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. It does not, you can put nuts and bolts in here, you can put rocks, you can put uh, whatever. Well, it, it doesn't really matter. It'll I, go out the barrel. Well, I have a question. Sure. This is just okay. out there. What about if you do a, a air launched arrow bolt? No, you can actually do that. Okay. Or you can, you can uh, in the PVBA guns, what they would do is they had uh, a special cup okay. that went in the barrel, but you can actually feed a bolt down in here, mm. it'll seat right in. You That'd use one of the wads. This one. You can absolutely. You can shoot arrows out of these. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I wonder how fast those things are cooking. <sighs> About six hundred feet per second. Get out mm. of here. Uh, very fast. How many grain was the arrow? A uh, well, standard bolt. I don't remember. This was a long time ago when Terry and I did it, and we had us. Uh, he said, "Just shoot that target." It was a, it was a steel target. It was yeah. just obliterated in a thousand pieces. I mean, yeah, you're putting crossbows to shame, but you're also putting a lot of the other things to shame with that much energy, it, it, it with is, that much speed, it I should is say. That's extremely crazy. extremely deadly when you go, but absolutely you can, and all you got to do is, you may have to <laughs> play with the fletching a little bit. I mean, you guys can figure that out. It's not to my thing. To be continued. <laughs> no, that might be more your thing, but not my well, thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not into um, launching arrows out of, the, out of air rifles, but I would like to see the results of one of these shooting an arrow just well we could probably do that we can probably get some bolts one of these days maybe it'd be one of those videos i do yeah for Aragon web we'll get out there and shoot some just to see and of course coyote comes running around uh, hey, you know, <laughs> coyote comes around come on in this way as you're, you're standing out of frame uh if a coyote comes around we'll that would just be too bad for him. Uh, yeah, well, don't put it on YouTube. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Well, guys, that's going to be it. If you want to know more about these products, go to arrogantproshop.com. Uh, also, you can look up our page on the Arrogant Expo, and you can ask questions. You can respond. You can say, hey, I want to buy one, or hey, I'm a dealer, and I'd like to become a dealer. All of those options are available on our profile on the Arrogant Expo. So check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to get some pictures of this, get some specs for you guys, and get this published because cool we do beans. have these coming in stock by the end of the week, and we already have those. Hey, Rick, what's the FD mean? I already said it. <laughs> Freaking deadly. <laughs> That's Slight, not what you told slightly me. Slightly more Keeping cold. it clean, guys. Keeping it clean. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping it PG-13. Uh, <laughs> no, I wanted, it, I wanted it to be irreverent, if, that, if that's the right word. I didn't want this to be, uh, I just wanted to, to be what it is. Didn't want it to try to be anything else but just a nasty air gun designed to kill things. 
uh, and that's what this does very, very, very well. Yeah, it's 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 going to be real sweet for people. This, I, this I fall, want to go hog hunting. This fall for the deer hunters are going to have a real good yeah. time with this one. It's just a great quality air gun. Guys, that's going to be it for now. Uh, stay with us. we got some more live studio segments coming up. And tonight we've got our you know, daily roundtable wrap-up. Tonight we've got some cool guests. We're going to have Hawk Optics here. Sweet. And we're also going to have Umrex. So we got uh, Aiden and Mark going to be with us tonight. So that should be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. So those guys will be up. So stay with us. We like to wrap things up. What? AOA and Jay Solomon. Yes. I was going to get to that. Um, as far as our <laughs> studio segments, we're not done with those yet today either. We've got uh, Air Guns of Arizona coming up, and we're also going to talk about the JSAR Raptor and what's a little bit about what's going on with JSAR. And this week, we're going to have um, one of the folks from JSAR on with us in one of our wrap-ups. So cool. that's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of, still a ton of content coming your way here at Air Gun Expo. My name is Rick Usser. I want to say thank you to Gateway Air Guns, Predator International, and, of course, Air Guns of Arizona. Yep. See you guys. Hi, guys. Yeah.